Hello guys, welcome to the new video. In this video, I want to show you guys how to download and install BPS Office on Lenovo Chromebook Duet or any other Chromebooks with ARM processors. As you guys know, on the Chromebook devices, you can install Linux application, Android application, and web application. In this video, I will talk about the Linux application and especially about the applications which are compatible with the ARM processors. So let's just get it started. First, I will talk about the problem and also the reason that I made this video. If you go to the Google Chrome, if you go to the VPS.com, everything looks fine. Also easy to download actually this application. If you go to the VPS office for Linux, click on download, download one more time. It takes a little bit of time here. Then you have this dev package, which you can install on the Chromebooks and also on this Lenovo Chromebook Duet. You just need to click on this for Linux 64. It will start to download it, but you're not able to install it. And that was the reason for this video. This uh, application is written for the Intel processors. So you have to differentiate between the applications which are written for the uh, Intel processors and which are written for the ARM processors. So we are searching for this dev package, for this VPS dev package for the ARM processors. I found this link here. I will put this link also into the description. It is the same from the VPS, but it's from the Chinese link. So you just need to go to this link, click on this blue button. Most probably it's written download. Don't worry, the application will be in English. And you have here the depth file and you have here obviously more option and also the arm. So we are searching for depth and the arm here. So you just need to click on that. Now it will start to download it. The problem with the download is that it takes a lot of time to download it. There's a problem, I think, on the server of this website. And it took for me more than one hour. It also failed three, four times. So you have to a little bit be lucky and also patient for be able to be able to download this file. But eventually, if you make it, you will get on the downloads this applic this file here is a vps office on and it's a dev file double click you will get this window to install it then you can install it it will take some time maybe 10 to 15 minutes to install it and now after i installed it you will get this vps 2019 vps pdf vps writer vps presentation and vps spreadsheet I already have the LibreOffice also installed on this device and I want to shortly show the differences on the user interface. I have this VPS Writer and the LibreOffice Writer. Let me open the VPS Writer. You guys clearly see how modern this looks. The user interface looks good. Also, if you want to use your finger as a touch input, it works perfectly. Now I'm using my finger. And I can also select these small ones. That's also possible. Now I can try to type something. Everything works perfectly. I realized also that you guys clearly see the crosser here, the mouse crosser, a little bit like a horizontal right now. I think that's a problem with the screen recorder on the Lenovo Chromebook to add on the Chromebooks. When you're doing for the Linux application, it feels weird. If I bring the crosser here, most probably you guys seeing it upwards, but for me, it looks normal actually. So don't worry about that. It's a problem with the screen recorder. So let's go back to the this application, VPS Writer. Everything looks good. Everything looks modern. It has some bugs. For example, if I want to minimize it, now it worked, but sometimes it doesn't work. Yeah, now it doesn't work. Okay, it's good that it doesn't work, but you need just to click on that, then you can minimize it. But as I said, it has bugs, but the user interface looks so modern that I still prefer it over the LibreOffice. If I open it, you guys clearly see how outdated it looks. And if I want to use my finger, it's really small, the icons here. And it's really hard to do that actually. So for me, I prefer the VPS writer because how modern it looks and it looks like actually like more Apple-ish, I will say. The icons here, the blue color here and the layout, everything looks more like Microsoft uh, um, Office Word document actually. If you guys remember, I prepared the document on the 
windows in the microsoft office word and uh, i tried to open this document on the google docs and also libreoffice and also the android application of the microsoft office now i will try to open the same application with the vps here to see how it will look like you guys clearly saw how fast was it to open this document i had here in this file the table of content it contents it works also i have the tables it also recognized that table i had shapes it also recognized with the shapes also the coloring of the shapes are correct i have equations here it also works also the toolbar for the equation exactly looks like the uh, microsoft office toolbar and I had a chart here, and the chart also works here, so you can edit it. So because this uh, VPS office also has this spreadsheet, so you guys clearly see that this works also really good and fine, and you get a modern design also for the touch finger, using your finger for the touch input, also the icons are large enough. So if you want to just download it and install it, go to the link that I put in the description, and uh, hope you guys also will enjoy this application so that was it for this video don't forget to subscribe and hope to see you guys in the next video